monkey, George. You're just not used to kindergarten. <laughs> George wanted to be a monkey who was good at kindergarten. What could he do? Now, castles weren't just for kings and queens. Butlers, maids, cooks, and carpenters lived in them, too. Lots of people lived in castles. Oh, I've always thought it would be fun to live in a castle, high on a hill overlooking the ocean. In fact, I would like each of you to draw a castle that you would like to live in. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes, Allie. Um, what if we would rather live in a submarine? Then you draw a submarine. Oh, uh, now I have to go talk to the janitor. I'll be right outside if you need me. Hmm. Hey. George had an idea. Instead of drawing a castle, why not build one? Mm. A castle for Mrs. Gold to live in. What you doing, George? What's he doing? George, what are you doing? Oh, you want to build a castle for Mrs. Gold? Hey, <laughs> let's go! Hmm, maybe castles weren't allowed in kindergarten. Maybe he should ask. The bookshelves, the water, not a problem. But sand in a carpet, that's a problem. Uh, Mrs. Gold, George wants to know if he can build a castle instead of draw one. Uh, uh, sh sure, sure. I I'll be right there. Let me tell you about carpets. First, you got your shags. Then yours your it's okay, area George. Of family, uh, which is divided into the short pile and the deep pile. It's not easy building a castle, but George found a way. <laughs> Bookshelves and blocks for walls. And a curtain for the roof. And every castle needed a window. George's school tool made a great construction level. At last, the castle was ready. All it needed was a tree. Yes, well, thank you. That was most informative. I'm sure it will look... <gasps> oh, my! It was George's idea, but we helped. When you said a castle, you meant a, a castle. Oh, this is wonderful! It's amazing what you can do when you use your imagination and work together and have a monkey to help you. Oh. <laughs> Yay for George! Yay for George! It was good being a guest monkey. But it was also good being a plain old regular monkey on his way home. I think there's a picture in this book. Here you go. See that blob? Huh? That's a germ. Oh. Some germs are good for you, but bad germs can make you sick. <laughs> well, that's your body. Your nose, mouth, Stomach. <laughs> Those are your lungs. Uh. When you sneeze yes. or cough, <laughs> that's your lungs squeezing together and trying to force out the bad germs. Oh. <laughs> Enough biology. Time for you to rest. <laughs> George didn't want to rest. He wanted to get rid of his bad germ. If only he knew how. Uh. 
George saw a face. A face he had seen before. <laughs> In the mirror. It was him. George's mouth was amazing. It was like a giant cave. Yeah? A cave with an echo. A squishy floor, which was actually his tongue. Huh? And best of all, yeah? a spaceship. Ooh, yeah. George could find that bad germ and get rid of it. just as soon as he figured out how to work that spaceship. George was amazed. He didn't know Gnocchi could drive. knew they were somewhere above his mouth, but where? Yeah. Fortunately, Gnocchi had discovered a helpful sign. They were in George's nose. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And they weren't alone. You better look out, cause Toots is in town. I'm in your nose. Achoo, he's in your nose. I'm in your nose. Oh, yeah. I'll make you sniff and I'll make you sneeze. You won't be smelling that smelly cheese. Down to your belly. Down, down. I'm mostly down to your belly. Look out, he's in your belly. So don't eat a thing, that's my suggestion. Cause I'll be giving you indigestion. <laughs> Billboard is kind of high. Uh, George, how about you paint and I'll supervise from here, okay? Uh -huh. Don't forget the picture. Uh -huh. When George got close to the billboard, he could see things he couldn't see from far away. Like the fact that the billboard wasn't just one big sheet of paper, but six sheets glued together. George, are you done? Uh-huh. Uh, George? Huh. Did you paint the picture on the billboard the same size as this? Uh-huh, uh -huh. Oh, that explains it. You painted too small. I'll show you. You can't see small stuff from far away. 
So George resolved to paint big. He'd cover every last inch of that billboard. Oh, hi, George. How'd you do? Huh? It looks like you painted only part of the picture. Did you run out of room? George wondered how he could get a small picture onto a big billboard. Then he noticed something. The full marks on the picture were just like the rectangles on the billboard. the rectangles here with the rectangles there. That'll work. Here, I'll make it easier. Six rectangles. Paint one at a time and you're good to go. Ah! This time, George was sure he'd get it right. What? George, come down here quick. Some juicer you've got there. Second best invention in the world. The first is my tasty health drink. <laughs> I know these are delicious, but we should save the rest for later, George. Okay, I think that's later enough. Mm. Boy, that was tasty. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Huh. <laughs> right, let's go. Where'd everybody go? Everybody packed up and left already. Huh? But don't worry, they'll be back next week. Oh? Uh. A whole week without juice? What was George going to do? You know, George, if we had our own juicer, we could make the drink ourselves. <gasps> There's a kitchen supply store right around the corner. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, boy. I have no idea how to use this, but when in doubt, read the instructions. Hmm. I guess there are no instructions. Oh, oh don't worry. Between a smart man and a smart monkey, we should be able to figure it out. Hello? What? Yeah, I'll, I'll be right there. Sorry, George. Professor Weissman needs me at the museum. They're picking a new shade of yellow for the main hall. I'll, I'll be back as soon as I can. Uh -huh. Ooh, okay. George figured a smart monkey all by himself should be able to work this thing. What did Juicy J say he put in that drink? It's got five fruits and vegetables, plus a special secret ingredient. Five fruits and vegetables, and all of them seem to be red. Mm. Apples are red, and peppers, and strawberries, Ooh. and watermelons. George 
Pooch didn't know what cabbage was, but it was the last red thing in the fridge. Five red things. Oh. Now all George needed was a special ingredient. Ah. <laughs> oh. A red fish? Ah. Why not? Okay, so maybe raw fish is not a special juice ingredient. Lake Wanasink Lake is a very popular place in the summer. <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> and on a really hot day, George's little legs couldn't get him to the end of the dock fast enough. Oh, oh there! Oh. Who is it? <laughs> we have a saying on the dock, son. Look! Before you leap. Huh? Hey, what happened to all the water? Well, the dry spells lowered the lake quite a bit, don't you know? Not a good time to dive off the dock, but a great time to waterproof it. That sounds like a big job. Do you want a hand? Well, if you're offering, I'm sure not saying no. <laughs> If the water was gone, <laughs> where were the fish? Uh, I don't know where they are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Yellow Pants, we have to go find the fish. <laughs> Okie doke. Be a good little monkey. Uh, and girl. <laughs> so he can be with his family. Yeah. Honey, Sally just cracked a tooth and I have to take her to the vet. You want to come? Sorry, I'm in the middle of rescuing a fish. Oh, uh, well, I don't think Sally can wait. All right. Well, I'll come back as soon as I can. Bye. For some reason, the lonely little fish didn't want to be rescued by a monkey. Oh. Ah, smooth strokes, you see. Nice and thick, so as the water can't get in. Looks simple enough. Good. Fill your bucket, and you can start over there. Where's, where's my bucket? Well, you forgot where you put it already? I, um, hmm, that's odd. Fish wanted nothing to do with monkeys or buckets. <coughs> if only there wasn't so much dirt, the fish could swim to the big lake all by himself. <laughs> Did you have fun helping the Pischettis today? <laughs> The nervous chef cooked what he thought were his Giardino burgers. Yeah. Ooh. I, uh, I hope you all like them. Mmm, 
I've never had a meatless burger before. Mm. I don't think they're perfect, Netty. I'm finished! Finito! Never is when I will ever cook ever again! Never! <laughs> How could this happen? <laughs> um, I, I think something happened to those patties. Something monkey-oriented. <laughs> ah, I see. His recipe was perfect. How can I prove it? <gasps> Everyone, follow me. Here is the chef's perfect recipe. <laughs> no, no, that is not the recipe, George. That is chef's plan for expanding our garden. Ah, George, did you make burger patties from this? <laughs> <sighs> okay, we start over. Garbanzo beans, mashed. Uh-uh, oh. <laughs> we don't do that by hand. Tomato. George helped follow the recipe and even remembered something the chef forgot last time. <laughs> what can I be if I'm not the chef? All I know is cooking. <gasps> Netty. Netty! Netty! There are fire trucks outside. Is everything okay? It's more than okay. It's delicious! What's going on here? <laughs> George is telling you that he made the other burgers, not you! Oh, Netty. You can understand, Giorgio? No! What's important is that these were made from your recipe. <laughs> Chef Piscetti, this is the best vegetarian burger I've ever had. <laughs> Wait a minute, I thought you say you never had one before. Yeah, so it's the best one I've ever had. Excuse me, is this yours? Has your picture on it. Ooh, woo, something sure smells good in here. My Giardino burgers. Oh, I'm so happy I may, I may cry. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Chef sure are emotional, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, anybody want seconds? Yeah! <laughs> The bunnies were too fast. George would have to outthink them. <laughs> One down, six to go. Lucky for George, bunnies are too young to know about footprints. It takes more than a superior brain to outthink bunnies. It helps to be wearing a cap.
Three down, four to go. <laughs> Squirrels don't like surprises, not even small ones. He counted the bowls. He'd caught Whitey, Spotty, Black Ears, Cottontail, Brownie, and a jumpy squirrel. <laughs> um, add being grabbed by a monkey to the list of surprises that squirrels really don't like. Footprints lead to cute little bunnies. Ooh. Hi, George. What you doing? <laughs> Bill was almost done. George's time was running out. George had caught every bunny except Herbert Nininger, and Bill would be home soon. <laughs> George had looked everywhere. What he needed was a bunny expert. But who knew a lot about bunnies? It wasn't going to work. George tried to explain this was no time to play with a fuzz ball. She had to find Herbert Nininger. This was no ordinary fuzz. This was the end of Herbert Nininger. Hey, George. Keeping the bunnies company? Thanks. As a reward for doing that and being so patient, I'm gonna let you pet one right now. Petting a bunny isn't easy. It's all about maintaining control. Step one, unlock latch. <laughs> but you wanna pet a bunny, don't you? <laughs> okay, you sure are one careful kid. Hey. How'd that acorn get in there? One of George's favorite things about being in the country was running his own railroad. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Bill. The Kite Flyers convention just ended. I'm going to be coming home on the number seven train. Okay, uh, what time will your train arrive at the station? The number seven arrives home at exactly three o'clock. All right, I'll be there. Bye-bye. George, you wouldn't want to bother coming to the train station to pick Bill up, would you? Woo! <laughs> It's too early to go now. His train won't arrive for hours. <laughs> oh, I'll show you how it works. This is the train Bill will be on. This is you and me. 
Even if we're at the train station, we have to wait until 3 o'clock for Bill's train to get from there to here. <laughs> okay. We can go to the station early and you'll see how it really works. <laughs> This was exciting. George had never been to the train station before. Well, hey there, young fellas. Woo! <laughs> Taking a trip, are you? I recommend traveling by boat. Oh, we're not traveling. George wants to see how trains run. Well, would you like to see it from inside the station's very nerve center? <laughs> Are we allowed up there? Well, of course. My brother's the station master. I'm bringing his lunch. Hey, Flint. Hey, Clint. Meet my mates, George, and... Why, you're the man with the yellow hat. I see you in town from up here because you stick out like, uh... Like a big yellow thing sticking out. Yeah. Well, this particular little monkey wants to see how real trains run. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm the station master. From here, I watch every train on the line. It's important for me to track every train to keep them on schedule. Well, now, see that? The number one train's supposed to get here first. Number two, second. Three, third. Is simple. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I have to get that number one ahead of the number two. <laughs> <laughs> number two, I'm switching you to the right of way so number one can pass. Okay, station master. So I've got to switch the tracks to move it ahead. George saw exactly how Station Master Flint did his job. Time for the number one to come into the station. See now? Follow me. And there's the number one right on time. Now you know enough to run the railroad yourself. <laughs> Lunch break. No thanks. Great Northern Railroad, are you trying to cheat me, Clint? Oh, trim your sails there, Flint. What's your beef? Yours is big. Mine's all small on the ends like, uh, like something with small ends. Well, I cut them in half, and a half is a half. I'll make a new one and show you you're as wrong as pants on a trout. You be judge, so it's fair. Um, shouldn't someone be running the railroad? Oh, it's okay. I always stretch my legs at lunch. Anything unusual happens, this warning bell rings. George can stay. He can't harm anything. Remember, be a good little monkey. <laughs> oh. Hi, guys. Oh, you're looking good, George. Well, at least the right half of you is. <laughs> I guess someone's due for half a bath. I wish, but George won't take a bath anymore. I don't get it. And maybe George feels he's getting too old for a bath. Of course, that's it. My little monkey is growing up. <laughs> now I know exactly what to do. Come on, George, we're going in. Oh, thanks, Professor Wiseman. You're a genius. Well, yeah. I understand your problem with baths now, George. <laughs> and I agree. It's time for you to start taking showers. <laughs> George.
Turn on the water, George, and see what happens. <laughs> oh. <laughs> George. George. <sighs> okay. Won't take baths. Won't take showers. I need to take a walk and not think about any problems for a while. But sometimes, not thinking about something is harder than you think. Bubbles. Maybe, somehow, Springy was nearby. <laughs> Hi, Betsy. Hi, Steve. Hello. Betsy made pretty good bubbles, but she was no plastic frog. Hey, George. We're washing dogs to make money. Want to help? Uh-huh. Yeah, George, why don't you help? There's soap and water and bubbles and soap. <laughs> Great. George can help me make bubbles to attract dirty customers. George figured the triangle bubble maker was broken. But a square bubble would be just as good. <laughs> they fooled me the first time I tried them, too. It doesn't matter what shape bubble maker you use, they'll always turn out round. All this bubble making made George miss Springy even more. Sharky, you're more mud than dog. Hey, George, would you help me? Could you wash Sharky's ball? Don't be shy about getting some of that clean water on yourself. <laughs> of course. The park. The mud. Sharky. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you're getting dirtier. George. Slow down! I... Okay, I'll meet you back home. Oh. Wow. You beat me home. Uh, why were we racing? George, you're taking a bath? Okay then, enjoy. I, um, wow. I wonder what that was all about. A bath just wouldn't be a bath without bubbles and sprungy. You ever thrown a surprise party for Mr. Quint before? Well, it's the only way to give him a party. Because they're such a big family? Exactly. I'm watching for Mr. Quint's boat. No sign of him. Oh, you don't have to watch yet, Bill. He won't be back for at least two hours. Whoa! It's not my birthday, George. I'm not supposed to get surprised. <laughs> He's home early. No! Oh, what do we do? <laughs> No, oh, take him to your house and keep him there till party time. Not yet, George. Well, hey there, young fellas. Ooh, looks like you sprung a leak. Bad luck today, huh? Well, not all bad. Got to see part of the river I never saw before. <laughs> the bottom. Well, I gotta change my soggy socks. 
No, uh, uh, don't. I, I mean, come to our house. <laughs> we want to build a fish pond and need expert advice about fish. Uh, well, sure. Well, let me just get some dry clothes. Here, dry clothes. Go help him. <sighs> All right, Mother, if you say so. Huh? No quit can resist fish crackers. They may come in handy. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Have fun. So George and the man with the yellow hat kept Mr. Quint busy with lots of questions. What do you think? <laughs> well, if you make a pond that big, you can have almost any size fish. As George was about to ask exactly how many whales he could have, Mr. Quint's brother, Flint Quint, showed up. <laughs> hmm? oh, uh, uh, hi, George, it's Mr. Quint's brother, the train station master. Hey, Clint, happy birthday. Hey, Flint, happy birthday. <laughs> oh, didn't you know the Quints were born together? So Flint can't know about the party either, okay? <laughs> the Quints were twins. Now George had two people to yell surprise at. It couldn't get any better. You know, I said you needed help, so I came right over. Well, this here's fish business, not train, so you can weigh anchor. I'll meet you back at my house. <laughs> Don't go! I, oh, oh, we want to know about running a train around the pond we're planning. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Hello? Oh, it's Mrs. Quint. Disaster. The bakery truck broke down, so they can't deliver the birthday cake. Don't worry. I, I can go pick it up. Oh, thank you. It's at Mr. Pescado's bakery over in Franklin Square. You can't run tracks across the pond. It'll scare the fish. Well, then we'll just have to tunnel. Guys, could you monkey sit for me while I run an errand? Uh, sure. We'll just figure out the pond while you're gone. <laughs> George, it's your job to keep the quince here so the surprise isn't wrecked, okay? <laughs> George knew this would be easy, because the Quint brothers would probably argue about the pond for hours. Well, we've got it all worked out. The perfect pond and train. <gasps> so we'll monkey sit you at my house where we could draw up plans. <laughs> George had to keep the quince here. It was important. The surprise. <laughs> Fish crackers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, um... We could have fish crackers here and then go to my house. That's a good idea. Eating this many crackers would keep the quince here a long time. Somehow, this didn't look fair. Food could arrive by train at 10 o'clock and 3 o'clock. <laughs> Those look delicious. <laughs> My brother's wife requests that I proceed here to provide backup. Hey, Clint, happy birthday. Hey, Flint, happy birthday. Hey, Wint, happy birthday. <laughs> Oh, didn't you know, George? All us quints were born together. Of course, I'm the oldest. <clears throat> By two minutes. The quints were triplets. Now George had three people to yell surprise at. <coughs> Even better. Fish crackers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wheel in your hooks. We were here first. Huh? <coughs> George was going to need another plate to keep three whole quints here. Hey, 
Where's the police boat? <laughs> hey, I've got juice at home that goes great with fish crackers. Let's eat these at my house. <laughs> George! <laughs> well, that's the same juice. Okay. We'll stay here so we don't have to wait for fish crackers. <laughs> fish crackers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. George had to admit he had no juice. Happy birthday, boys! Happy birthday! <laughs> George, meet our sister, Sprint Quint, the track star. She won three Olympic gold medals. Oh, pshaw. That was long ago. Count them. Three. The Quints were quadruplets. Now George had four people to yell surprise at. This was the best. So I hear you need help putting a jogging track around a pond. Are those fish crackers? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> but before he even tried to split 12 crackers onto five plates, Another quint showed up. Flint, Clint, Wint, Sprint, happy birthday. Happy birthday. <gasps> George, meet our sister, Mint Quint. She prints money for the government. Want samples of my latest work? So I hear you need help figuring out the cost of a pond. <laughs> Five? Oh, yeah, that's right. This is all of us. We're quintuplets. I wonder what this belongs to. Oh, George! I found your lost boat. <laughs> In the freezer. You know, George, if you were a little more careful with your toys, you wouldn't lose so many of them. You almost ready to go to the park? <laughs> hey, aren't you glad we found your boat, George? G George? Sharky wanted to play in the mud, too. <laughs> hey, George! What do you say we go home and grab some lunch? <laughs> Maybe you should try and clean up a little bit before we go. We could be here all day doing this. You can clean up at home, George. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, George, lunch is... Ready? George, you have to get cleaned up before you can eat. Just take a quick bath. I'll wait. There were only two things that could get George to take a bath. Bubbles and... And... Springy the Frog. George wondered where he could be. George? George, what is taking so long? You can clean your room later, after you clean yourself, and after we eat lunch. <laughs> Hop in. Oh, I get it. You want to be launched like a new ship, huh? All right, here we go. Into the sea. <laughs> oh, you're tickling me. <laughs> Look, I know you took a bath already this morning, but you're muddy, George. No. <laughs> hey, look at all the fun bubbles. See? There was no way George could take a bath without Springy, who had to be around here somewhere. George? There was no way George was going to admit he lost another toy. <laughs> who had to be here somewhere. <laughs> George! George! <laughs> George, aren't you gonna take a bath? Are you going to take a bath tonight? You don't know? Tomorrow? Ever? Oh, well, I can't have a muddy monkey messing up the apartment. <laughs> okay, George, forget about giving yourself a bath. How about we give your truck a bath? You don't mind if I wash my car while you wash your truck, do you? George loved making bubbles anywhere. He didn't need a tub. A bucket of water and a little soap worked too. They were so light and shining and filled with air. But making bubbles reminded him of springy. There! All clean. Good job. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Hi, guys. Oh, you're looking good, George. Hey. Well, at least the right half of you is. <laughs> I guess someone's due for half a bath. I wish, but George won't take a bath anymore. I don't get it. And maybe George feels he's getting too old for a bath. Of course, that's it. My little monkey is growing up. <laughs> now I know exactly what to do. Come on, George, we're going in. Oh, thanks, Professor Wiseman. You're a genius. Well, yeah. I understand your problem with baths now, George. <laughs> and I agree. It's time for you to start taking showers. <laughs> Turn on the water, George, and see what happens. <laughs> oh. George. George. <sighs> okay. Won't take baths, won't take showers. 
I need to take a walk and not think about any problems for a while. But sometimes, not thinking about something is harder than you think. Bubbles. Maybe, somehow, Springy was nearby. <laughs> Hi, Betsy. Hi, Steve. Hello. Betsy made pretty good bubbles, but she was no plastic frog. Hey, George. We're washing dogs to make money. Want to help? <laughs> yeah, George, why don't you help? There's soap and water and bubbles and soap. <laughs> Great. George can help me make bubbles to attract dirty customers. George figured the triangle bubble maker was broken. But a square bubble would be just as good. <laughs> they fooled me the first time I tried them, too. It doesn't matter what shape bubble maker you use, they'll always turn out round. All this bubble making made George miss Springy even more. Sharky, you're more mud than dog. Hey, George, would you help me? Could you wash Sharky's ball? Don't be shy about getting some of that clean water on yourself. <laughs> of course. The park. The mud. Sharky. <laughs> no, oh no, 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 you're getting dirtier. <laughs> George, slow down. I... Okay, I'll meet you back home. Oh. Wow. You beat me home. Uh, why were we racing? George, you're taking a bath? Okay, then. Enjoy. I, um... Wow, I wonder what that was all about.